Since the mass shooting in Lewiston, Mainers and people all over the world have stepped up to support the community. One of the big fundraising efforts has been the Maine Community Foundation's Lewiston Auburn Area Response Fund. Today, the organization provided the state with an update. News Center Maine, Sam Rogers joins us live from Auburn. Hi, Sam. Yeah, Amanda and Brian, uh, we we're actually in Lewiston. That press conference was this afternoon in Auburn, just across the bridge, where we learned that more than $1.8 million has been donated so far. The majority of those funds, more than $1.3 million, will go directly to the victims and their families. Now, the rest of the money will be used for broader community outreach in the months to come, but today's focus was on those affected, the families, all 18 of them. A steering committee will now be tasked with identifying the Mainers who need help and making sure they get it. It's sad that this committee is necessary, but it's so important that we all work towards bringing our community together in this healing process. Tom Platts will chair this new committee, which got right to work Thursday. Its mission is to figure out how to best distribute funds to victims and their families. It will be a privilege to work with this group to help Lewiston in healing from this terrible mark on our history. Three weeks later, it's still incomprehensible. On October 26, police confirmed just how horrific this shooting was. 18 dead, 13 injured. Friends, family members, neighbors all taken that day. This response fund was created shortly after. Uh, we'll have a process that is transparent, victim-centered, and trauma-informed. Jeff Dion is a consultant to the committee and is an expert in mass casualty response. And I can tell you that their family's grief and trauma is not any greater or less based on what's in their checking account. And so we're going to treat people as people. The steering committee will soon allocate funds to people in separate categories. Those who died, those injured, and those present at either shooting scene but not physically hurt. Each person will get the same amount of money as everyone else in their category. Psychological trauma is real and impactful, and it, it's terribly important that we recognize that. Thursday's announcement illuminating the idea of hope. As this community continues to grieve from its darkest days, Mainers around the state reminding them they're not alone. This will be a long recovery, and it will take many of us to support the community. Now, if you or someone you know is curious if you are eligible for these donations, you can scan the QR code on your screen or go to maincf.org slash Lewiston. This organization will also be providing updates during a public town hall on December 6th that is open to anyone and you are free to ask questions. Brian and Amanda. Sam Rogers live in Lewiston for us. Thank you.